Do you know what time it is? I think it's time to sound design. What's going on Rocket Powered Sound Designers? Today, we're gonna be recreating the lead from Sultan's track, Sick, and this is what it sounds like. So yeah, it's a pretty interesting lead and you know, it's definitely categorized in the hybrid trap category. Um, Sultan's out there killing it with his brand new song. So what do you guys say we go ahead and jump straight into the sound and how it's recreated? All right, so. Now, if you guys are watching this tutorial and for whatever reason you're not subscribed, make sure you consider clicking that subscribe button if you're interested in serum tutorials every single day for the rest of your life. That's it. One serum tutorial every day for the rest of your life if you click that subscribe button, of course. So, now, let's start it off with some basic shapes here. I don't like using basic shapes just because I use them so often, you know, they're actually really powerful when we're running frequency modulation um, through them, which is why so many popular artists like Getter, even Sultan are probably using them right now. So let's go ahead and start off with our basic shapes here. And we're gonna be starting off as a square waveform for the host of our frequency modulation. So go ahead and jump on FM from Oscillator B. And then of course, we need to be receiving the signal oscillator which is going to be oscillator b so we need to turn that on and just go ahead and drop the level down to zero decibels or not in zero decibels <laughs> just zero percent all right now we're talking here i'm just going to move my keyboard under my desk so you don't hear my annoying keystrokes okay so we're just going to go ahead and turn this up one octave and the FM is gonna go up quite a bit, so like 96%, something like that. Now you guys are probably wondering like, Shane, what the hell, this doesn't sound anything like the original, but guys, this is what's really gonna be making the magic happen here. Go into our filter, and now we're gonna go and select not ring mod, but ring mod times two. And what the times two allows us to do is actually control the spread of the sound. So. So with the ring mod filter on here, we're gonna go ahead and play around some notes. Oh, but we're gonna notice there is absolutely no sound audible right now. Probably like, what the hell is going on? Let's just try moving the spread knob around. There we go, that is our classic ring mod characteristic sound. But the spread is very nice in the sense that we can actually control. I get a nice decent sound here and moving the cutoff it's not really the cutoff of the ring mod it's more like the frequency perfect and we can set the correct tone for whatever note that we're pressing now keep that in mind we could go ahead and turn on keyboard tracking which will automatically adjust whatever cutoff or whatever note that we're playing to or I'm sorry, it will automatically adjust the frequency or the cutoff knob here to whatever note that we're pressing. That way the pitch stays constant throughout the entire thing. Now, one thing that I forgot to do, because listening to this, I'm like, okay, this sounds a little bit too intense. We're gonna go into our basic shapes and we're gonna turn this to a triangle waveform. See how much it's smoother it sounds? It doesn't sound as like jittery as our sawtooth waveform. Now, into the effects section, we're gonna start ourselves off with just a tad bit of distortion here. And what we're gonna be using for the distortion is a down sampler. Um, so if we go into here and we select our down sampler, we're gonna begin to quantize the sound or start to break it down into smaller bits. Break it down now. <laughs> Okay, that does not sound too good. Turn it down a little bit, maybe 17. Okay, that sounds about right. Maybe turn on that mix just a tad. And that's gonna bring us to our multiband compressor. Cause that sounds decent, but you know, we got, we wanna bring out the levels a little bit, make everything equalize. Okay, now we're talking. Um, we need to turn on the low end because this is a lead. We're gonna have a sub bass layered in with this in the original track, so why do we wanna have any low percentage here on the band? Okay, okay. So, 
It sounds a little bit too vocal, you know, Sultan's original track did not sound vocal whatsoever. So one thing we're going to do to fix that up is just literally just drop the EQ down here, move up the frequency here to the more more like a middle mid-ranged sound that we're cutting out and we're kind of cutting out the vocal frequency that is really making that sound. Maybe turn it up a little bit more then. All right, all right, pretty damn good. And then we could just finish it off with a little bit of hyper and dimension. And then maybe even reverb. Now this is your sound, guys. So you are the boss of what it sounds like in your own music. So, like I said, guys, that's how we make the original lead in his track sick which is pretty sick and it's really unique so make sure you guys check out the full song if you want to now without further ado if you guys like this video drop a like on the video if you didn't like it drop a dislike let me know what you guys think in the comment section below and of course if you're not already subscribed you already know what to do just press that subscribe button now all right, I'm done talking. This is a tutorial. You know, I'm getting all sleepy now because I don't even know. It's pretty late. And I got school tomorrow. So without further ado, my name is Shane from Rocket Card Sound, and I will catch you guys in the next serum tutorial.